gorgeously beautiful to see Prince Negro he wended by ten maids attended nine wealthy craftsmen masons journeymen with one only ten the highest in fame forth they stroll the pace there to find a place where to build a shrine a cloister divine and lo down the lee a shepherd they see in near so ripe playing on his pipe to him the prince sped and thus spoke and said handsome little swain on thy sweet pipe playing up the arge stream they flow to hastin down the arge green with a flow to spin this to have to see summer down the lee an old wall all rotten unfinished forgotten on a green near a hazel brush good sire i did a brush hid there's a wall a rotten unfinished forgotten my dogs when the spy it make a rush to bite it and howl hollowly and growly ghoulishly as the prince did greatly did they and walk to that wall mazes all nine wealthy craftsmen journeymen with one only ten the highest in fame here's my wall quoth he here i chose that e build for me a shrine a cloister divine therefore great craftsmen masons journeymen start i busily to build on this lee a tall monastery Make it with your word, peerless on this earth. There shall have gold, each shall be a lord. Oh, but should you fail, then you'll moan and wail, for I'll have you all built. I will, so I try, build you up alive. So as Christmas, stretch it out, a rope and chain, Measure out the place, dug out the deep base, toil day in, day out, raising walls about. But whatever they wrote, a knight came to note, crumbled down like rot. The next day again, the third day again, the fourth day again, all their toil in vain. So amazed the Lord, he made his discord, and he covered them down with many a frown and many a fret. And his mind he said, to have one and all built up in the wall, he would, so he tried, build them up alive. Those nine great craftsmen, masons, journeymen, shook with fear walls making, Walls they raised while shaking. A long summer's day till the skies turn gray. But Manole shirked. He no longer worked. To his bed he went, and a dream he dreamt. A 
Ere the night was spent, for his men he sent, told them his intent. Ai! Nine great craftsmen, masons, journeymen, I dreamed in my sleep me seen. A whisper from high, a voice from the sky, told me verily that whatever we in daytime have wrought, shall nights come to naught, crumble down like rot. Till we one and all make an oath to all, whose bonny wife erst, whose dear sister first, haps to come this way at the break of day, bringing meat or drink to husband or kin. Therefore, if we will our high task fulfill, and build here a shrine, a cloister divine, let swear and be bound by dread oaths and sound, not a word to speak, our counsel to keep, whose bonny wife erst, whose, whose dear sister first, Haps to come this way, Haps to come this way, at the break of day, at the break of day, her will offer up, her will offer up, her we shall build up, her we shall build up, I swear. When they from night parted, parted. climb the trellis fence, climb the planks and tents. The field he looked over, the path through, wild clover. And what did he see? Alas, woe is me! Who came up the lee? His young bride so sweet, flower of the mead. How he looked aghast as his aunt came fast, breaking his day's food and wine sweet and good. How he saw her yonder his heart burst asunder. He knelt down like that, and weeping, he cried. Send, O Lord, the rain, let it fall amain. Make it drown beneath stream. Let it swell in tide, and arrest my bride. Flood all path and track. Make her, Lord, turn back. The Lord heard his sigh. Clothes he spread on earth and darkened the sky. And he sent a rain, made it fall on me, made it drum beneath stream and bank and heat. Yet, for as it may, her it could not stay. Onward she did hide, knife she drew and knife. As he watched from sky, sorely did he cry. And again he wailed, and again he prayed. Blow, O Lord, a gale over hill and dale, the fir trees to rend, the maples to bend, the hills to turn, make my bride return, stop her path and track, make her, Lord, turn back. The Lord heard his sigh, hearkened to his cry, and he blew a gale over hill and dale, that the firs did rend, the maples did bend. The hills did not return, nor would she return, and came up the dale, thrilling against the gale, reeling on her way, nothing could her stay. Poor soul, through the blast, there she was at last. Those worthy craftsmen, masons, journeymen, greatly did they cheer to see her appear. While Manoli parted, with all hope he parted, his sweet bride he kissed, saw her through a mist. In his arms he clasped her, up the steps he held her, 
pressed her to his chest and thus spoke in jest. Now, my own sweet bride, have no fear abide. We'll make thee a nest, build thee up in jest. Anna laughed merrily, laughed trustfully, but Manoli sighed. His trowel he plied, raised the wall as dew, made a dream come true. Up he raised the wall to guard her with all. Up the wall did rise to her ankles nice, to her bunny thighs, while she, well away, creased her laugh so gay. She would pray and say, Manoli, Manoli, good master Manoli, have done with your jest, tis not for the best. Manoli, Manoli, good master Manoli, the wall squeezes hard, my frail flesh is marred. Not a word spoke he, but work busily. Up he raised the wall to guard her with all. Up the wall did rise to her ankles nice, to her bunny thighs, to her shapely waist, to her fair young breast. While she, well away, she will weep and say, she will cry and pray. Manoli, Manoli, good master Manoli, the wall waits like lid, tears my teeth now shed. My baby's crushed dead. Manoli did smart, sick he was at heart, and the wall did rise, pressed her in its vice, pressed her shapely waist, crushed her fair young breast, reached her lips now white, reached her eyes so bright, till she sank in night and was lost to sight. Her sweet voice alone came through in a moan. Manoli, Manoli, good master Manoli, the wall squeezes hard, crushed is now my heart, with my life I part. Down the arches lee, beautiful to see, Prince Negro in state came to consecrate and to kneel in prayer to that shrine so fair, that cluster of work Peerless on this earth, that is too so bright to his eyes delight. And the prince spoke then. Ye good team of ten, ye worthy craftsmen, tell me now in suit, close your hearts in truth. Can you build for me, with your mastery, yet another shrine, a cluster divine, even far more bright, of a greater delight? Then the great craftsmen, masons, journeymen, boasting cheerfully, cheering boastfully, and the roof on high, up against the sky, thus they make reply. Like us great craftsmen, masons, journeymen, in skill and in worth, there are none on earth. Mary, if two wilt, we can always build yet another shrine. Fine, effort far more bright, of greater delight. This the prince and his face grew dark. Long, long there he stood to ponder and room. Then the prince anon order with a throne. All scaffolds pull down to leave those ten men, those worthy craftsmen, on the roof on high, there to root and die. Long they stood, they, their thinking. Then they started linking shingles thin and light into wings for flight. And those wings they spread and jumped far ahead and dropped down like lead where the ground they hit, there their body split. But poor, poor Manoli, good master Manoli, as he brought himself to jump from a shelf, hark, a voice came low, from a wall below, a voice dear and leaf, muffled, sunk in grief, mournful, 
will be gone moaning on and on. Manoli, Manoli, good master Manoli, the wall waits like lead, pierce my teeth now sheed. Uh, my baby's crushed dead, away my life is fled. As Manoli heard, his life blood did curd, and his eyesight blew, and a high cloud swirled, and the whole world swirled, and from near the sky, from the roof on high, down he fell to die. And lo, where he there sprang up a well, a fountain so tiny, of scant water, briny, so gentle to hear, wet with many a tear. <laughs>